In this video, we're going to do some quick worked examples of finding the area and the circumference of a circle. Let's start off with a circle. So here's my circle, and on the circle, I'm going to draw a radius. So the radius will come from the centre, and we'll say that that has a length of r. So what we're going to do is look at finding first the circumference and then the area. The circumference is the distance around the outside of the circle. So if I started here and walked round, that would be the circumference. The circumference, which we call c, is given to be 2 pi r. So all we do is multiply 2 by pi, which is just a number, multiplied now by the radius. If we wanted the area, which is now the space trapped inside the circle, the area would be equal to pi. Again, pi is just a number. It's at about 3.14. We'd have pi multiplied by the radius squared. So let's look at some nice straightforward examples. What we're going to have then is a circle, and we're going to have now a radius of 5 centimetres. So if we just take the radius, the radius is going to be 5. Here is the centre of a circle and that is 5 centimetres. So the circumference, all I would do is 2 times by pi times by 5. So we'd have 2 multiplied by pi, which is just a number, multiplied by 5. That's going to give me now 10 pi. We could put this through a calculator. This is what we call the exact answer. So sometimes you'll be asked to leave your answer in terms of pi. Alternatively, we can hit now pi. Pi is down here, shift pi. We can see that that's 3.14, 1.59, and so on and so forth. All we need to do is multiply this by now 10. That's going to give us 10 pi, which is 31.4, and that's to one decimal place. So we'll have now 31.4, and that's going to be centimetres. Remember, this is a length, so our units are going to be centimetres. And we can write that this is one decimal place. So I've rounded this to one decimal place. So that's finding the length round the outside of a circle. If we wanted to find the area, we would have now pi r squared. So what we do is multiply pi by the radius squared. The radius squared will be 5 squared. So we can see now that this is going to be 25. So we'd say it's 25 times by pi. Again, in the calculator, all we need to do is 25, and then we hit shift pi. 25 pi is going to give me 78.5. So let's put this on. That's 78.5, and this will be centimetres squared. And again, I've given this to one decimal place. We know that the area will always be in the units squared. The circumference is a length. Therefore, it's just centimetres or metres or kilometres. The area is centimetres squared. So let's do another one. Let's, do, uh, let's go ahead and do this one. What we're going to have then in this case now is a radius. The radius is going to be, let's say that the radius is going to be 7.1. So let's say this is 7.1 metres and we want to find now the circumference. The circumference will be 2 times by pi times by 7.1. So straight in a calculator with this, we'll have 2 times by pi times by now the 7.1. This now will be uh, 71 over 5 pi, which is 44.6. So we're doing this now in meters. So this is going to be equal to 44.6, and that will be meters. And that's given to one decimal place. Let's now look at the area. What we have then is pi r squared. So we'll have pi multiplied by 7.1 squared. So all we'll have in the calculator now is pi. So we put shift pi and we times this by 7.1 squared. If I do that, I'm going to end up now with 158.4, correct to one decimal place. So 158.4 and that will be meters squared again, to one decimal place. It's an area, so we need to give this as a squared value. There's the circumference. That's the distance around the outside. This now is the area. So these examples we've seen are when we have a radius. Sometimes we might be given the diameter. The diameter is simply twice the radius. So in this particular case, what I'd have now 
is a length going from the circumference to the circumference. Let's say that this is 10 centimeters. We could work out the circumference as just doing pi times by the diameter. If we think about this now, the circumference is 2 pi r. This is exactly the same. So all we would do if we wanted now is write pi d. Alternatively, we could write on that this is 5 centimeters and this is 5 centimeters, and we could use that the circumference is 2 pi r. As you can see from this, they will give us the same answer. So if we look at this, all we've got now is the scenario where our radius is 5 centimeters as before. When we have a diameter, when we want to find the area, we need to have the radius. We can't square this and half it as it will give us a completely different answer. So if you're given a diameter, half the diameter to find the radius and then we can use that the area will be pi r squared. So if you're given a diameter, don't now go ahead and square it, then half it. Half it first, square it and multiply it by pi. So as we can see, this particular circle is identical to the one here. I've just put on now a diameter. So let's do a different one. Let's say now I had the diameter and let's say that the diameter was going to be 4.2. Okay, so let's say that this is going to be now a diameter of 4.2 meters. So if I wanted the circumference, I could just write now pi times the diameter. Or if you've already done it, 2.1 and 2.1. So the circumference is going to be 2 times by pi times by 2.1. So if we do that in a calculator now, we're going to have 2 times by pi and then times by the 2.1. Or you could have just done 4.2 times by pi. So now 2.1, let's put that in. And that's going to give us a total now of 13.2. So we can say that this is 13.2 metres, and that is to one decimal place. With the area, we need the radius. So this will be pi multiplied by 2.1 squared. So if we do that in the calculator, let's go ahead and do that. Shift pi, and we're going to multiply this now by 2.1 squared. 2.1 squared times by pi is going to give us now 13.9. So the area is going to be equal to 13.9, and that will be um, in metres, we're working in metres, metres squared, and again, that's to one decimal place. So finding the area and the circumference of a circle by using these two formulae. You will be expected to learn these and be able to use them. Do look out for the diameter if you have one. It's often easier just to write now that the radius is going to be half that value.